Hey guys, Alex, and today we have an unboxing of the battery extender by Shoemaker. I own three of these chargers, and this actually will be the third one. I had really good uh, luck with all of them. I thought I'd show you what the model looks like inside. This is the model SP3. There is an SP3 CA, which is for California, and all it does is saves you supposedly electricity, but uh, what I found out so far is that they all look the same, they act the same, so whether you buy the SP3, or the SP3CA, it should be about the same thing. Inside of the box, you have obviously your warranty, you have the actual battery maintainer, and you got a couple cords on here. Let's unravel this one and see what that looks like. So you get this guy right here. This goes to the battery if you decide to hardwire the battery maintainer to the battery. If you hardwire the battery uh, maintainer connection, it makes it really easy for you to connect your maintainer. Basically, this will go to the battery of the car. This will hang on the car inside of the engine bay. You will pop that little cover. You will pop the cover. Um, you'll grab the other side. Actually, there's no cover on this side. You'll grab the other side and you'll plug it in here. And the car uh, maintainer will start maintaining your battery. So what makes it convenient is that when you're ready to go, you'll separate the plugs and then you can uh, cover this up and then drive away. The alternative way if you don't want to install this on your car would be to use these little alligator clips that they provide. The way that works is very simple. Again, you would have this plugged into your battery maintainer and you would take the clips here, attach them to the battery post and leave the battery maintainer on the car as long as you want it to. Um, the alternative way to do it is through the cigarette lighter port, but I haven't really used this adapter. I haven't done it, I haven't used it, so I have those laying around. I use this ones when I'm connecting to a car that I don't have a permanent connection already. What I really like is installing this ones on each one of my cars, which is how I have them set up. Inside of this little uh, plug, you have a fuse, uh, which is pretty good because in something were to short out or overheat, the fuse will go um, before you have a problem. Here's what the charger looks like. The battery maintainer has a nice LCD cover on it. And the LCD display uh, shows you the status of the battery, shows you the voltage and it gives you uh, warning messages. Another nice thing I like about this battery maintainer is the length of the wire that comes out of it. You got quite a bit of cable here that is gonna probably reach any outlet that you're trying to hook up to in the near vicinity of your car. And then the other cable that goes to your car is also pretty long. If I had a guess, let me see, this is probably about four or five feet long of cable on each way. So you got about 10 feet of cable, 10 feet of reach with this battery container. Uh, the battery maintainer uh, is 3 amps. They sell different amperages. What the amperages are is basically how much power is output into the battery. Uh, some of the very smaller, uh, lower, uh, more affordable battery maintainers are 1.5 amps. I, I wanted something in between. I, I didn't want something crazy like 6 amps. This has 3 amps, so it, it should be uh, more than enough to get, maintain a, a, a normal automotive battery or a motorcycle battery. It does both the 6 volt and the 12 volt. I like the case too, the case is very rugged. It has this side rubber uh, portions that protect the battery maintainer if you were to drop it or anything. I mean, this is pretty, pretty sturdy. And like I said, this is my third battery extender. Um, the other ones, I had them already for a couple of years and they're still going strong. Uh, so much that when I tried to buy the third one, I couldn't find this. So there's a possibility that this either are being phased out, discontinued or going to a newer model. Um, but at least I know now that the Shoemaker brand at least when it came to this particular battery extender, has very um, good results. It has proven very reliable. Also in the back, you have this little hook. That's if you wanted to hang it somewhere in your garage or anything like that. I don't use mine like that. Mine, I always have them set on the ground and, and I have them somewhat um, a couple of feet away from my car or, or away from my car cover just because of the fear of what if this overheats and then it sets a fire in the garage. But nothing like that has happened. It actually only gets 
relatively warm um, when you have it uh, plugged in so it doesn't really get too hot where it will become a problem. So once it's plugged in, you'll see that the uh, display is telling you that you have to connect the charger before it begins to uh, install and maintain and charge. Uh, so it's a, it's a smart charger in a way, it knows that nothing is connected, it's not outputting voltage just for the heck of it. That's important too because if you have a hot uh, charger and you're trying to hook that up to your battery, it might spark and certain batteries if you have enough uh, vapors could, you could potentially spark a small fire. So the battery maintainer is looking for a battery and the battery has to have some kind of voltage on it before it actually delivers the current for, you, for it to charge or maintain the battery. Once this is hooked up to the battery, this will show you uh, the percentage that the battery is at and what, what the charger is doing, whether it's maintaining or whether it's charging. Uh, so let's go look at the way that this looks uh, once it's set up on a car. So on this particular car, I have already installed the connection, the quick disconnect connection for the battery maintainer. This cable, which I showed you earlier, has a red lead and a black lead. The red goes to the positive, the black goes to the negative. And the way I installed it on this car is I fed the connector through the bottom and coming out through here. So this keeps most of the wires kind of hidden and kind of out of the way of view. It helps when you have a car show and you want to have the engine bay open and you want people to look at your car. And this doesn't look too ugly. I like the low profile of that connector. Um, and let's plug in the charger to see what it looks like. So here is the battery maintainer. Pull the plug off that. Connect the battery maintainer and that's it. The car is now being maintained. The battery is being maintained at its optimal voltage. The nice thing about the low profile plug You can close the cover and it won't really pinch if you route the cable correctly. It won't really pinch or damage the cable. You can partially close or almost fully close the hood and you can put even the car cover on like I have most of the time and the car battery will be maintained. So I like that convenience. So this is what it looks like when you hook up the battery maintainer to the battery. The LED display is gonna turn on and it's gonna tell you what it's doing. In this case, it's charging a total battery and the total battery is at 95%. So this battery is almost completely full. Once it gets to 100, the maintainer will sh switch to a charging maintenance mode. So it's only gonna top off the battery little by little and it will not overcharge the battery. That's what I like about these things, these smart battery maintainers versus those float charges that you can buy uh, on the internet. Now, this thing is gonna be about 35, maybe $40. A brand new battery is going to set you back a couple hundred. So I think this is worth the investment, especially if your car sits for a, a long period of time, let's say the winter or in between car shows. It is, I think, a very, a very handy item to have around your garage. Well, guys, please hit like if you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, see you guys.